Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my autumn capsule wardrobe because I just wanted to share with you some of the things that I wear because lots of you guys ask me on Instagram. If you're not following me there, please go and check it out. But I wanted to, yeah, just show you what I'm wearing this autumn and also, so exciting, we're also doing a Grin Bag giveaway at the end of this video and it's going to be on their Reflect bag because as we're getting into autumn, London is super rainy and because I cycle, I need to have a bag that has a little bit of a reflective um, patch on it but also to have it completely waterproof so that when I do get rained on, my things like laptop and stuff won't get wet. So let's just get straight into the video. Welcome to my bedroom. Uh, and let's start with some accessories and shoes. So as I said before, I use a, a Grin Bag Reflect bag because it is waterproof. And just a disclaimer, I am an ambassador for them um, because I love their bags. They are a truly upcycled zero waste company and I just really support the, the work that they do and they really support me as well. And I chose their bags because, as I said, they're super waterproof. They're really good for commuting and cycling and just making sure you're protecting yourself from that winter, autumn, uh, rainy weather in London. And it's going to be raining for the next probably five months, so definitely want to be secure. So in terms of shoes, I just have three pairs of shoes, one for kind of muddy, wet weather, one for kind of casual every day, and then one for kind of smarter. So the first one are my boots. I actually have had these for several years and I always bring them out every year when it gets to around this time because they're super hard wearing. I originally got them secondhand and they have been such hard wearing and I'm gonna keep these boots for as long as possible. So I try to shop my own wardrobe first when it comes to different seasons, just to make sure I'm not bringing extra things into my home that I really don't need. So apart from these boots, I also have these pair of trainers. These trainers are from Native Shoes. I really love them and their values. The problem with a lot of fast fashion brands like Nike and stuff is they do make really cool shoes. So I was on the hunt for some more ethical, more sustainable versions that I could feel morally okay about getting and these shoes were them. I really love them, they're super easy to slip on and slip off and I just really, they're just super comfortable. And the last ones, I'm sure you've seen them before, are my Doc Martens. I bought these several years ago or I think I got them for as a Christmas present. They're the vegan Doc Martens and they've held up so well and I love the rubber sole because again they hard wear in all the kind of wet weather in London. Okay, on to the clothes. So let's start with bottoms. I have three pairs of bottoms I tend to wear all the time. And one are these Lucy and Yak trousers that I got maybe a couple of months ago. I think I got in the spring. Um, and just because they really suit my, my body shape. Um, and I just, I really like them. Lucy and Yak, again, they're a really ethical company and they're more sustainable in their practices. And I just really love these trousers. I think they're versatile and they're not too kind of dark. The next ones are these jeans from Anara Hemp. I haven't bought a new pair of jeans in an incredibly long time. And this is the only company really, apart from maybe mud jeans, that I would support in terms of getting a new pair of jeans. And these jeans are gonna last me a really, really, really long time. They're made of hemp, rather, or mostly hemp, rather than things like cotton, because they're less thirsty and they're more sustainable. But obviously, if you can, tend to buy jeans secondhand, that is always better. But I got these jeans knowing that I was gonna have them for a really long time. The next pair of trousers are these secondhand pairs of trousers that I bought from a thrift store for I think $10 and they're originally from Everlane, so I'm quite happy about that. And I love these trousers so much. I have worn them during the day, I've worn them in the evening, I've worn them to go out in. I've actually been wearing, wearing these pretty consistently since I got them. And I even went to Printworks to see Bonobo on Saturday and I wore them and I love them. Honestly, they're super comfortable and I love them. So that's the kind of trousers stuff done. Let's move on to t-shirts. So I also got this uh, tank black tank top secondhand. I love it, it's only like $5 I think and I got that a few weeks ago. This is definitely a staple in this in-between weather because it has that high neck, which I really love to keep your neck warm, but then also it has no sleeves, so you're not gonna get too hot if you have a jumper over the top. And I just really love it. I love a high neck, as you can tell, because I'm wearing one now, which is the next one is this white one that I'm wearing. I love this. I definitely bought this maybe 
one or two years ago now and I thrifted it as well for a couple of dollars which is really cool and I love it so much I try to take good care of it so I can bring it out again and again each year. I do wear this in other times but it's just slightly thicker so it's good for this time of year and again I love the high neck and the kind of short arm sleeves I just love them. I also just have a plain white t-shirt which is simply just a plain white t-shirt so I like to have that too. And I also love having a shirt that's quite long that I can just throw over anything as like an extra layer if it's a little bit cold, but also can take it off when, you know, it's a little bit warmer during the days, but I really love this, this shirt. I think it's originally from Sea Salt, but I got it secondhand and I've had this for quite a while and I also obviously love it. Okay, moving on to my dungarees. I bought these dungarees maybe one or two years ago and they're also from Lucy and Yak. And they're slightly thicker material, so they're definitely a lot warmer than like the summer ones, I think. And I love it and I decided to go for like a pinky color because as you can tell, I'm quite a like blue, black, white, gray kind of person. So I thought I would get something that has a little bit more color in it just to give my wardrobe that little bit of a lift. And I love these, they're super comfortable. I love to work in them, I love to, just chilling them and they're so comfortable I just feel like a big baby in them and I love them. Okay on to jumpers, my favourite part. This obviously is one of my favourite jumpers, I've been wearing it ever since I bought it and I thrifted this for a few dollars a couple of months ago as well, no a couple of weeks ago sorry and I just love it because I love the pattern and it feels kind of like autumny winter like we're going into winter time and this is super cosy and I just yeah I really 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 like it. I really like this pattern and I just it's just cozy honestly I love jumpers so much because they just epitomize cozy autumn for me the next one is another one that I thrifted um it's just a white plain one which I got it's like a heavyish knit got it for a couple of dollars as well and it's just a nice cozy thicker jumper that I can wear under a jacket or just with jeans or any of these other trousers that I have or even under my dungarees if it's even colder but I love this it's super cozy and it's super warm as well the next one is a black thin cashmere jumper now I wouldn't buy cashmere firsthand because one it's really expensive and two it's also a byproduct of an animal and obviously I'm an ethical vegan but I have no problems with buying it secondhand because you're not putting money into that industry and this was only I think it was 15 pounds from a, a kind of more upmarket secondhand shop in London and I bought this it's got to be about six months ago now just because I knew a thin cashmere jumper would be really 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 warm and I have not regretted buying it and me and my sisters share it all the time it's just really really convenient to have under a big sort of puffy jacket and the last thing of like the clothes type thing is this uh, corduroy dress that's actually 100% cotton. It was originally from Toast, but I got it secondhand maybe last year. And this was definitely this was in my last year's uh, autumn capsule wardrobe as well. And it's just a timeless piece for me. I really love it. It adds a bit more of a kind of color to my wardrobe, and it's just I just love the color. It's just so bright but also muted at the same time. I love it. Okay, so on to jackets. I have this puffer jacket that I got, I think it was $20 from a thrift store, but it's so warm and it's waterproof and it's just, it's kind of like what lots of people are wearing at the moment, but I didn't want to buy a new one because I don't try to, I try to buy secondhand where possible. And I found it in a thrift store and I was so chuffed to find it and I really, really, really love it. So I've been wearing that with kind of thinner items underneath and I'll definitely come in handy this winter as well. So the last thing is my rain jacket that I've had for about four years now. I've been taking really, really, really good care of it so that I can have it basically forever or at least 10 to 15 years. Now it took me a long time to save up for this jacket, but for me it's been worth it because I probably would have spent that amount of money in kind of multiple things if I bought a cheaper version or something that wasn't as good quality. And for something like a rain jacket, I'm happy to save and buy for because I knew it was gonna last me a really long time. And I just, I really, really love it. Anyway, I my battery's about to die, so I'm gonna quickly speed up. We're gonna be doing the green bag giveaway over on Instagram, just cause it's so much easier to manage. And all you have to do is go on the green bag website and look at the reflect bags and check out the black and the white one and just let me know which one you prefer. The link is gonna be in the description below. And all you're gonna have to do is head to Instagram and check out the rest of the rules, but that is pretty much it. You just have to like the photo and follow me in Grimbag. 
and tell us which bag you really, really like. Um, I really love mine, honestly, because waterproof stuff is super important for me. Uh, if I have my laptop, I'm always cycling places to get to work and things like that and going to meetings and I love to have my waterproofs. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing what I'm kind of being going to be wearing this and I would love to hear from you guys what your favourite items are that you kind of take out of your storage and check out every year. So, oh, I'm feeling quite ill so I'm going to go back to bed after this but I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video and I look forward to seeing all of your um, all of your comments about your favourite pieces and see you over on Instagram for the giveaway. See you guys later.